Hi everyone and thanks for joining me today. This will be a walkthrough on how to use the new Nadex trading platform. Really excited about the new platform. It's robust, it's easy to use, and the interface is intuitive. I feel it's very powerful and a huge improvement from the previous version. So let's get started. Once you log into your live account, this is the screen you will see. The platform status displays your connection to the data feed. And if there is any disruption during market hours, then that will appear here. If your internet signal is dropped, then usually a red bar message will display across the top of the screen somewhere in this area here. Your available balance and total PL will be listed here. And by clicking this white account circle, you can access your account info. The three main Nadex products are binary options, call spreads, and knockouts. I'll be using standard binary options in this walkthrough. Nadex products allow you to trade all the major global indices, major forex pairs, upcoming economic events, and major commodities like crude oil, gold, nat gas, and silver. So I'm going to select a market on the left to start trading. And I'll click on indices. And the US 500 daily, since that's a product that I enjoy trading. I'm going to scroll down to the 39.63 strike. And once I click that, it loads a chart of the US 500 in the center and the order ticket for that strike price on the right hand side of your screen. This top panel allows you to set up and configure your chart. Clicking on daily allows you to select and view intraday timeframes anywhere from a four hour chart all the way down to a one second chart. And clicking on the calendar icon allows you to set longer timeframes between one day and up to one year. And you can also select the date range by clicking in the calendar field at the bottom of the chart and just dragging. By clicking on the indicators icon, you can choose from a list of technical indicators to add to your chart. So here I'll add Bollinger Bands then stochastics, and I'll add pivot points. These are easily removable just by clicking the X next to the indicator here. You can adjust the indicator screen by clicking this notch right here and adjusting it. So you notice here that the workspace is a little bit crowded. And the great thing about the Nadex platform is that it's highly customizable and it allows you to hide certain areas of the screen to allow you to visually see the workspace that you're working on. And so I can do that by clicking the double arrows here and hiding the options chain. And I can do the same thing here by clicking the double arrows to hide the order box. By clicking on the pencil icon, you can add advanced studies like Elliott Wave, Fibonacci, and GAN studies, along with all the other standard drawing features. Uh, by mousing over the circle icon, it gives a brief description of that indicator, which is really great. Uh, if you're not familiar with that indicator, it will give you a explanation of what that is. Clicking on the I will allow you to turn certain elements of the chart on and off. So here I can turn indicators off. And when I'm ready to turn them back on, I can just click it again. And so you can do this with other elements like open positions, working orders, or prices that are on your charts, along with any other drawings that have been added to your chart. By clicking the three dots, you can set the type of chart that you'd like to display. 
as well as price parameters that will appear on your chart. And from here, you can also save your layout and or delete it, as well as export the chart and save it as a GIF file. To magnify the chart, just click on the magnifying glass and minus to zoom back out. The order ticket at the right allows you to place an order for the strike you selected, which in this case is the 3963 for the US 500. In the right hand corner is the time left to expiration for this option, which is 17 hours and 37 minutes. In the left hand corner is the current quote for the underlying instrument for this binary, which in this case is the S&P E-mini, which is currently quoted at 3956.38. So data exposes the binary question, will US 500 finish higher than 3963 at 415 p.m.? If your strategy and analysis say yes, and you decide to take the trade, then click on the buy offer. And then you can select either limit or market for your order type. I'll select limit here, which allows you to select the exact price that you'd like to get filled at. And the number of contracts you'd like to trade. And immediately, Nadex will calculate the max profit and loss for this trade. Here, the max profit is 2,310, and the max loss is 1,690. Review your order quickly to confirm everything is correct, then click Buy. Once you've done that, then the order should appear in your order box, and it, it will be listed here as an open position. And in the order box, the 24 hour history will let you see the orders that you've placed in the last 24 hours. By clicking on the settings icon in the bottom left corner of your screen allows you to set order settings. The tolerance setting here is to indicate the amount of slippage you're willing to take on a given trade execution for a market order. And remember that market orders are filled at the best available price and not always the exact bid or offer that you've indicated. This type of order puts speed of getting filled over specified price. And this may be required in faster moving markets where immediate entry or exit is required and the desired price fills are secondary to you. Limit orders, however, allow traders to specify the exact price at which they wish to get filled. And so the trade-off here is that market orders are dictated by the market and are faster, while limit orders are dictated by the trader, giving them more price power. So I'm just going to keep these at $1. And by clicking on default order type, you can select either limit or market. And that will appear by default every time that you pull up an order ticket. You can set the default contract size. And by clicking on session inactivity, just specify when the system will log you out after a certain period of time. Here I'll just select four hours. And lastly, you can select either light or dark for your platform. And I'm going to keep mine set to dark. So I hope you found this brief walkthrough of the new Nadex platform helpful. In future videos, I will cover binary options, call spreads, and knockouts. If you did find it useful, smash that like button and be sure to subscribe to our channel.